Hey everyone, it is Mr. Braggers here from Mr. Braggers Gaming, and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a bucket server. And I'm also going to be um, talking about a couple errors and how you fix them. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your web browser. Let me reposition my microphone just a moment. There we go, nice. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is open up your web browser, and link will be down in the description for this. Let's search what I had here. So then you is all you're going to want to do is download any version that you want. You can go all the way back to one, you can go to the first version of Minecraft. That is pretty insane. Look at that, that was released in 2011. I think I was like not many yeah it wasn't very long after multiplayer came out bucket bucket was alive it was alive it's wonderful all right anyway so i'm going to download 1.11.2 and none of this stuff is a virus if you, you get one then you clicked on something wrong like if you click on this don't no don't skip ad and yep it opened it opened a random thing just Get out of there. Get out of there. And then just click on OK. So there it is. There, there it is. So when you download the file, let's do this. Let's just go over this before. So if it has anything else in it, like mine is how it's supposed to be. Craft bucket dash 1.11.2.jar. That's all you want in it. But let's say you downloaded 1.8.8. And it says craft bucket dash r zero dash one dash snapshot dash one point eight point eight dot jar. You're gonna want to edit the name of it and delete everything except for the dash and one point eight point eight. Okay, until it looks just like this, except for the version that you're using. All right. So now that we're over that, you just you're just gonna want to um, go ahead and go to uh, text edit and then create a new document and go up to format and click on make plain text if you do not do this it will not work uh oh oh dear that is the wrong thing I am very sorry that was a link that I was gonna post in the description of something I'll be right back All right guys so I'll also just put this in the uh, description of the video and you're just gonna wanna scroll down to Mac OS X and then just copy this bit of code. Actually, you know what, I'll just put it in the description. The, sh the bit of code. And you, can, you guys can just copy it over. So anyway, you're gonna want to or paste it into there. And I'll explain this right now. So this is the um, bit that's going to be important. The rest, you don't, don't edit. Don't. Please. No. Okay. Anyway, so this is how much RAM that you're going to dedicate to your server. Um, I believe that this is actually one gigabyte. And it, if you guys want to know how much... Um, how much RAM that you have, just go to memory. And... Um, it will be right here. I've got four gigabytes. As you can see, because two plus two is four. <laughs> Math genius. <laughs> Subscribe. All right. Anyway. But yes. So then we're just going to, um, before we do that, actually, you can change this to dedicate however much RAM you want. But this is really important. So craft bucket dot jar. You don't want to leave it at that. You want to copy exactly the name of it, okay? So dash 1.11.2 dot jar. Just like that. You want to have it like that, all right? So then just uh, save this. You're going to save it as start dot command. Nothing else, no caps, nothing. Just start dot command, okay? And then just keep the uh, everything that I've got. You want that, um, keep that. 
um, then all of this just go for um, desktop so that it'll save right onto your desktop and you don't need any tags if you really want to add one you can but we're just going to save it there it is it is now a terminal thingy I guess I don't know <laughs> it is a terminal shell I guess okay anyway so just create a new folder and then you're gonna name it whatever you want so we're just gonna name it um, bucket server I'm just gonna move this over and we're gonna clean up sorry about that if you could hear that so you're just gonna want to drag these two things into this folder okay and then what you're gonna want to do is open up your terminal I don't actually know where it is let's just um, spotlight search it then open up terminal then I'll have this information blurred out um, what you're going to want to do is also, by the way, if it's like, quote unquote, like a bad quality blur and it's like off centered, I'm sorry. I kind of, it's, it's hard to do. Um, and I kind of have to show what I'm going to type here, um, and blur out some information. But anyway, so what you're going to want to do is type ch mod a plus x space do not hit enter or this will not work and then drag start dot command into there now press enter there you go um so that's that's basically it so now you can x out of that terminal window and then just go ahead and um, open this right click open open It should load three other things. Three or four. Three, yeah. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is open the thing that says EULA. End user, user license agreement. And set EULA where it says there. Set it to true. And now what you're going to, is all you need to do is when you, you just go ahead and run that. And everything will load up. I'll go over some of the stuff. And there we go. When it says done, you can just stop the server by typing just stop. And then do not close the window until it says log out, process complete. Completed. Then you can just close out the terminal window and shut down terminal. And yeah, so here is everything. Basically, not sure what this is doing in here. What is this? I don't think that's important. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Anyway. Um, so there's a couple things that are very important. Plugins, this is very important. I have a tutorial on how to install a plugin, and that comes with a uh, tutorial on how to use the Permissions X plugin. That will be up in the top right of your screen, um, right about now. And so... We've got a lot of things here. Basically, all of these mean something. Most all of them, anyway. Like, help. Um, I don't actually know how to use this, if you, want, if you want me to tell you the truth. Oh, yes, yes I do know how to do, use it. I do, I do, I do. Um, basically, the rules, you can edit this. 
basically, and I'm pretty sure you want to do it in there. So, like, let's say you can add, I think I have, actually have to add a hashtag. You can add, like, um, no griefing, no swearing, you know, um, be kind to fellow players is a good one, yeah. And you can add different things. I don't think I'm actually going to add them right now. I mean, I could add a couple, I guess. Um, like, let's see, D, B, oh, I, I, okay, but the, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I get it, I'm, those are color codes, okay, so I'll go with, uh, I'll go with blue, four, if someone tells you to leave their property, leave, there we go, Exit out of there. And, you know, there's ops, band IPs, band players. Uh, you know, band players, you just put player names in there, just like that. Um, to ban somebody. And then server properties is probably the most important out of all these. So this is basically where everything is. Everything is stored in here. Um, so basically, I would leave the world size, leave the server port, um, allow flight, probably leave that to false. You, you know, you can change things like the game mode. Maybe you want to change the difficulty, spawn monsters. You can change all this stuff. PvP. You can make it hardcore. You can make a hardcore server if you really wanted to. I don't think that would be very wise because if somebody died, they'd never come back. Because you can't respawn. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, you know, we got all these. And you can you can basically do whatever you want in here. Sorry about that uh, like audio fade. I accidentally leaned forward a little bit too far away from my microphone. And, yeah, that's about it. So, um, I'm going to be uploading, um, tomorrow. You guys will see it the next day after this is uploaded. You guys will see, um, a per the Permissions X tutorial, tutorial. And the day after that, I will upload uh, a normal video and a video of um, how to fix a very common error, failed to bind port, which I can't show you right now, because if you want me to tell you the truth, I expected the failed to bind port error to happen, and it didn't. <laughs> I wanted to kind of combine those tutorials into one, but I did it, I, I did it c more correctly than I wanted to, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button down below. And be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you will never miss a video on my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>